Hope her 400 crew members will remember their visit down under. Memories of servicemen of other days are revived at Sydney's Victoria Barracks. Wearing authentic replicas of uniforms dating back to 1770, troops parade during rehearsals for the Cook Bicentenary celebrations. These are the Royal Marines of 1770, when Cook was on his voyage of discovery. And in 1800, the New South Wales Rum Corps. Eighteen eighty-five, and they're bound for the Sudan War. These days, there are few with memories of the Boer War, but here's an Australian contingent from the year nineteen hundred, and a little more than a decade later, the dashing light horsemen of World War One. A few of them and their sons are on the march again in nineteen thirty-nine. Familiar sight these days, the combat greens, the soft hats and the automatic weapons. An inspection of each contingent by Major General Brogan ensures that they'll be ready for ceremonies watched by the royal family. And continuing her Australian tour, Queen Elizabeth with Prince Philip and Princess